Tonight, it's official after four years with the UH Warriors. Hawaii coach Greg McMacken announces his retirement. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. There's been a big shakeup in the UH football program with the head coach leaving. KITV4 Sports Director Robert Kikala joining us live now from UH with more on that story. Robert. Yeah, thank you, Paula. Uh, Greg McMackin's tenure as head coach of the University of Hawaii football team came to an end today, officially this afternoon, a 29 and 25 record. We're joined live here by UH Athletics Director Jim Donovan. This decision by Coach Mack to call it his retirement, this came about when? Uh, yesterday evening, uh, we were, uh, Chancellor and I were talking with him, and uh, as we went on, as the talk went on, he decided the best thing for him to do would be to retire. It was a personal decision. So 44 years as a coach, 32 in college football, part of his exit plan, he foregoes a half a million dollars of the salary that he was due for next season. That's a big help for this program. Yeah, there's no question. You know, everybody knows where we are budget-wise, and you know that kind of give back really allows us to do some things going forward next year. Now, in the interim, associate head coach Rich Miano and coach of the secondary takes over as a head coach because it's very crucial recruiting time period. That's correct. Uh, the national letter of intent day is the first Wednesday in February, and you know we'll be doing a national search, but it's going to probably take a few weeks before we can get to uh, you know a selection. And so you still want everything to continue to go forward with recruiting. And, you know, Rich been associated with UH football for 30 years, and it's a part of his duties as associate head coach. He's the perfect fit for the interim. Now, on the interim, as things move forward, and you start to look back at Greg McMacken's era as the head coach, WAC championship last season, he was the head coach before you were hired as the athletic director by a matter of weeks. but the things that he accomplished that helped this program move forward. Yeah, I, I, I got here about nine weeks after he did, but you know he's done some great things. You mentioned the WAC championship. It certainly helped us get into the Mountain West Conference with the great year we had last year, that 10-win season. Um, he created a bridge program for the new student athletes coming in uh, that's helped the new uh, young athletes academically. He created uh, the summer school program where almost every player goes to summer school. That's helped them with their grades, uh, helped with the outreach to Japan. I mean, he's just done a lot of things in his four-year tenure. Now, for the record, when Greg McMackin takes over as the coach and when you became AD as at the University of Hawaii, Hawaii was on probation because of academics within the Western Athletic Conference, was it not? That's correct. Uh, as far as APR scores were concerned, it was one of the three sports when I was hired that was on probation. And Coach Mack did such a great job with those academic scores that I think we were always in the top two. I think this year we might be number one. So we mentioned moving forward there's no way you have a time frame. There's no way you have yet a selection committee. That process, though, has begun, right? Yes, and I've said before that we're going to move as quick as possible, but we're not going to move so quick that we don't get to the right person. We're looking for somebody, obviously, that's a good fit and, and very qualified for the position. Not easy being athletic director, is it? It's a different job now it is. Good luck to you. It's a big task ahead of you. Thank you very much, Robert. Thank you. Athletics Director here at University of Hawaii, Paula Jim Donovan, uh, joining us live from UH. I'm Robert Kikawa. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Robert. Well, as word spread of the coach's retirement, it became a hot topic on social media. We've received numerous comments on our Facebook page. One person wrote, quote, mixed feelings. It definitely was not the kind of ending for the 2011 football season UH had hoped for. And another said, quote, Hopefully, they will get a coach for half of McMallon's salary, McMacken's salary, and put the rest back into the educational part of the university. You can join that conversation or read more of the comments posted. Just go to the KITV4 page on Facebook.